In this exercise I want to show you how you can use Visio to create an office layout plan. So I've created the, um, the correct template. What I want to do is drag a room, basic room, onto the screen how this works. So the room is 3 meters by 2.5 meters, which is quite small. Um, so there's not a lot I can do with that, but I'm going to leave it like that. Um, if I want to position a window into that, I'll just position a window. Standard size window will snap in place, 900 millimeters, 90 centimeters. And I can maybe put a door. Again, if I sit that on the wall, it'll just snap in place. I've got the option to close the door or flip, flip it the other way if I want. Um, let's have a, a dividing line. If I bring a wall in there, I can maybe snap that in place. I probably need to put um, either a door or a window in there. Now, straight away, I'm getting a bit big. This is getting a bit large. If I put the door the other way, this could be a small little office space. Um, let's have a look at some furniture. There's any furniture I can actually get in that space. These tables, you see the tables are quite large as soon as you bring them on there. You can reduce the size because this one is um, 1 meter by 1.8 meters, which is quite high. I'll reduce that down to 600 by 1100. And again, the size is um, shown at the bottom there, but I can just put a small table there. Office equipment, what have I got? Telephone, let me put a telephone on the table. Um, office accessories, what have I got? Small plant, let me put a plant on the table. Um, and a little bin, let's have a little waste bin. Um, a paper tray on the table, the table's getting a bit cluttered now. Um, and then more shapes, what else have I got? Lots of different options I can bring into there, but that's basically how you create an office plan. And as you do this, you can layer these things and, br and, and lock them in place so as you're building office furniture, you're not moving the walls or moving the tables that you've already positioned. So it is important that you do layer shapes as you're creating um, floor plans like this. But that's basically how you use a floor plan stencil.